Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another video for the beloved ephemera for the beloved beauty journal. I'm going to be doing a double um, CD envelope flip. So it's going to be a little bit different than what I've had on the channel before. I did a triple CD CD envelope flip. Um, I'll link that in the description box and over on my blog so you can check that out if you're interested. Um, but what we're going to do is I've already pre-cut all of the ephemera and um, it's kind of be hard kind of well, let me take this stuff off so I can show you what I mean. This is all the bits for each one. I always like to prepare those first just to uh, save time. And so what this is going to, what how this is going to work is one envelope is going to be stacked on the other and then they're just going to simply flip up. So each of them will have a window with a journal card that goes in the inside and um so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Typically I would do um my flips have been something like uh let's see if I can figure this out. Something like Goodness, how have I done this in the past? Like this, so that they're kind of um, like this. <laughs> this is gracious. Like so, so they flip down and up and it's stuff. I'm not doing that this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by inking everything up and then I will be back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, so everything is inked up. Let me just um, write my desk off here. It's a little messy. <coughs> so let's go ahead and start with this one. So what we're gonna, what I did off camera, is I went ahead and used my circle die, and I cut out the um, the circle for this. So let me move over here. Um, it's much easier to do it that way than to try to just any other method is just headache e so that's what we did here so I just it's just a die when it ran it through my big shot and um, basically is all I do is I just kind of estimate and put the circle um, die um, approximately where I want I usually cut this bigger um, when I send it through the machine just in case I need to fudge either side I've got room to do that so we're gonna go ahead and start by gluing on this onto the front here Oh, first we gotta we gotta slit our sides. So I think I'm gonna have them open on the right side. So let me grab my trimmer really quick. I forgot to do that. So let's do it on both of these really quick. So we don't have to come back to that. And so I'm just gonna take off a sliver just to open it up there. So I don't know if you guys can see that sliver. Hopefully this is not gonna give me grief. It's an awfully small sliver. There we go. I got a got a rough edge here. Easy enough to fix. Okay, let me just ink that really quick again. I don't know off the top of my head what's going to show and what's not, so <clears throat> let's do the same here. Just about that much. That worked out better. There we go. So, onward we go. I always forget something, it seems, no matter how prepared I am. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my, I think I'm going to use my Barely Arts just because I want the ability to move this uh, without any issue in case I don't get it quite straight. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the back of this all the way to the edge. I'm not going to do any sewing in this project. Um, still not uh, well. Still testing positive and um, still quite uh, winded and kind of get a cold sweat when I try to do anything much like take a shower. So uh, sitting here is not a big deal because I'm not doing anything that's kind of elevating my um, my heart rate or my breathing so <clears throat> be grateful for that so not back to work yet I am ahead on my videos so I'll probably be fine and well by the time this posts but 
at the time of the filming I am still not well don't know if you can hear that in my voice so I'm just going to line this up to the bottom because I know it's nice and straight there and then I'm just going to give it a press if I have to trim anything off I'm not concerned about that give it a good press like so and we do have a little bit of trimming to do so how about we just take care of that right now just being careful to not uh, further slit that side open we do not want to open that and then what we also need to do is because we cut this off we need to run a bead of glue um, on the inside of this edge hopefully you guys can see that um, because we don't want that to open up whoops kind of hard to do inside of this little space there we go go ahead and press that down all right so now our pocket should be intact right there I don't mind that white showing um, I might put a little bit of um, ink in there uh, we'll see so that is the front and so this one's going to be the front of the flip so um, this is going to be the back and I liked this because it actually can be written on but I need to be thinking about the fact that this is going to flip up like so so I really want this to go this way rather than you'd think it would go um, yeah like this sorry and I forgot something so um, because I've never done this type before I, I really should have had this go all the way up so I just cut another piece and I kept it uh, fairly seamless I forgot to ink this edge though so I'm going to glue that on as well. I did square it off just because I think I like the look better. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this flap here and then we can move on. There we go. And I'm just I'm making sure it's turning so that that it's matching that flower is matching up because that's important like that. All right, we can trim some stuff off if we need to. It looks like that flap is a little bit wide now, or tall, rather. Nothing a little bit of trimming um, can't fix, in my opinion. I should have left that hole if I had been thinking correctly. So now this is going to flip up, so I want this piece to go here. And um, this is going to be glued to the other thing, the other um, envelope, so I don't need to worry about covering that. So let's go ahead and get some glue on this. this in place as well this time I'm going to line it up I think with well I better line it up with the bottom because I can't it will be easier to trim off the top if something is not quite straight so I'm going to go ahead and just do my best to line that up like so give that a good press inevitably uh, my measurements are off often oh, just slightly off so I can see that I've got a little bit of an edge there so I'm gonna again trim that just a bit does not have to be perfect guys there we go alright so that is that so this is going to flip down and flip up and it's just got this great little uh, writing spot I had originally cut a pocket but I don't think I'm going to use it. This is vellum because I, I didn't uh, wasn't looking at 
the paper that I had chose on the back of, for the back of this that's perfect for writing on so I don't really need to tuck anything in there. So, <clears throat> so that is envelope number one and this is the journal card that's going to go inside. So let's just show you what that looks like when it's in. Oops, I need my ruler to kind of um, help this opening along here. I just like to take it and kind of push it like that and just open that up as much as I can. <clears throat> I may have to trim this because I did not account for, oh, it's perfect. So it's going to go in like that. And um, it is a little bit wide. Why is it so wide? There should not be anything impacting the other edge. So let's try that again. That's kind of silly. Unless it's, um, now that's fine because I don't mind that sticking out because I'm going to actually put a tab on it. It's probably what I was thinking. But I love how that little, those flowers and the typewriter show through there. So let's go ahead and pull that back out. We're going to put this little tab on here. I just used one of my dies for this um, and a scrap from the, um, from the kit. And we're just going to go ahead and put that on here just kind of as a little bit of a pull. So, got my <clears throat> Barely Arts again. If I said Art Glitter Glue, uh, that's not what I meant before. Okay, so, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to find the center, um, basically. I'm not too concerned about perfection. There we go. So that is going to slide in there. Got this great writing, spa writing space on the back. And that's going to slide back in to that little pocket. And voila. And I love how that sticks out. So my journal is um, six by nine. So I generally don't have my pages be bigger than five and three quarters. This is perfect because it's just not even five and a quarter. Uh, with that sticking out. So that is um, CD envelope number one. And here is number two. So we're going to do virtually the same thing. This is the frame for this one. So we're going to go ahead and um, get that on. Let's go ahead and glue this again really quick. I'm trying to use a little less glue. Hopefully I won't obstruct that pocket quite as much as I did on the other one. <clears throat> this is from, I'll have to look it up, but this is not from Chapter 1 papers. These papers, I apologize, I forgot to mention, these are from Dreams Etc. and it's the Love Story um, kits. So there's a lot of kits um, that are love stories. So there's just more um, add-ons and add-ons and add-ons. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So there we go. Um, but I'll have to look this one up. I don't know off the top of my head. Let me see if I've got the other print here. Um, I don't think I do. I thought I had set it out, but I'll, I'll be sure to uh, link it in the supply list. So let's go ahead and get this one glued on. You could certainly put acetate or something in this window to make it, well, I guess there's acetate in there. Never mind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's acetate in the CD envelope, silly girl. Sometimes I crack my own self up. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So we're going to go ahead and put this in place as well. And just again, trying to line it up. Um, these are going to be off because remember I had to trim that edge off to create the opening. So that's why I'm having to, to trim some things. So that's okay. And I, I can see that there's part of that window. So I'm trying to move that down. I could see a little bit of the white up there. So that one's <clears throat> off obviously again, because we did cut that open and that allowed for um, a little bit of an overhang here. And we got a little bit of an uneven edge here, not a problem. Just be careful when you do that so that you don't cut an edge open that you don't want to have open. So that is the front of that beauty. 
and let's see what the back is this is the back so it's cut exactly the same size as these these CD envelopes are um, five just under five by by five so basically five squared um, essentially I got these at Goodwill a whole bunch of them for like a buck or two crazy deal so we're gonna go ahead and put this one on as well and you know what I didn't even think about that 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 could be another pocket but I didn't do that so we're gonna go ahead and go with it without it being an extra um, tuck spot there Again, I'm going to um, line this. Uh, oh, wait a second. So this one, this one is also going to flip up. So we want to make sure it's going the right way, um, so that when you view it upside down, it's it's going to make sense. So if that helps, I'm not sure. So let's just put that down and wiggle, wiggle until we get this moderately straight seems to be pretty darn good. Got a little bit of overhang, but again, not a big deal. Just being careful not to slip that edge open. You can kind of feel though when you've got a little bit more paper in there than you um, than you want. <laughs> and you can kind of pause and readjust. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that really quick. I don't, I don't, again, uh, perfection is not in play <clears throat> in my studio, so I can still see that there's some overhang there, but I am not bothered by that at all. <clears throat> so there we go. So this is the journal. Oh, and then we've got a vellum pocket. So, um, okay, so this is going to go like this. And the reason why I did a side tuck is because you have less likelihood of things falling out <clears throat> if you're using a... Um, a side pocket versus um, a bottom pocket like that because when you flip it then everything's going to fall out so a side pockets a better uh, a better uh, deal here so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on three sides one two three leaving the notched side um, unglued and uh, barely arts is the best glue for gluing uh, vellum in my opinion I think that's a general consensus though. So let's get that on. Um, I'm gonna kind of turn it like this so that I can get this on really straight-ish. So there's that and that, and there we go. And then what we have for here is we have a couple of beautiful vintage ladies. So because this is a this is an antique romance um, um, Victorian kind of journal for my friend. So our last thing on this is going to be our um, our journal card for this one. So it's already inked up, as you know, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make sure it can actually fit in here without any issue. Because again, when, once you glue, you do affect the landscape of your, um, your uh, space, basically. So I'm going to just wiggle, wiggle and get that to loosen up. There we go. There is this issue with things trying to fall out, though. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of this kind of a flip. Um, things do tend to want to come out. You could always use a little paper clip and attach them somehow. But 
I don't, I'm not worried about it. So that is again perfect and I love that guitar. Just the bit of it showing is just lovely. So let's go ahead and put our little tab on here and then I'm going to look again and see if we want to do any kind of embellishing on the front of these. And if not, we will, um, we will say goodbye. So I'm just going to use my Barely Arts again here. And this is again just cut with a die from my from my stash, so super easy. And we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. And it looks to be pretty straight side to side. <clears throat> you just grab that edge a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna slide this in again, and then we're gonna just take another look and we're gonna glue these together. And then when they go in the journal, I'm, I'll decide at that point if I want to have them, um, I don't think I can have them really be a tuck because the idea is this is gonna glue to this, like so, and then they're gonna flip up like this, like so. So I don't think they can be real, really be a tuck. So we're just going to have them be um, glued straight. Well, only this part will be glued into the journal, these flaps. So um, they are nice and durable because um, we've got the layer of the CD envelope and um, a layer of 60-pound um, cardstock um, printed paper. So let's just go ahead and glue this onto this flap. I'm going to use my, um, my Fabri-Tac for this. I definitely want to have the ability to move this very quickly and because this is square I'm oops got a glue string I'm gonna also put a little bit here sorry guys and here because I squared that off if you remember so let's see <laughs> now I'm all turned around goodness gracious okay so that's that and that's that. So we're just gonna press this down and I'm, I'm being careful to line it up like so, so that it's even across the bottom and the sides as best I can. And it looks to be pretty good. And I'm gonna press that down, press that down. And uh, the Fabri-Tac, you do have some time to move those around so that is that I'm not going to try to open them right now because I don't want to affect that uh, and mess it up so um, do we want to put anything I think we just want a, a little bit of a sentiment on these so let me grab my uh, little drawer of um, sentiment bits <clears throat> uh, let's see Bear with me, I should have, um, I should have looked at this before. <clears throat> Boy, why am I having such trouble just <laughs> looking through this thing? My goodness. Uh, let's see, be, be believing, I like that, be believing, it's not grammatically correct, but, and then our other one, love your life and live your life, that's kind of dorky, <laughs> let's see, you are stronger than you know, kind of like that, yep, well, yep, I do like that. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this stuff here. Okay, so you know me. I have to have a little bit of um, frou-frou lace here. So let me find a piece that I can make work under there. So let's just trim that off. Actually, let me see if I have a piece that's already... Ooh, this would be actually really pretty. Except it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bulky. I'm trying to manage the bulk a little bit. 
This is my um, bin of um, scraps of textile items. Ooh, that's really pretty though. Yeah, I like that. So it's way too long, so let me trim it up a little bit. Okay, do a little inking on, around this word. <clears throat> so I hope that you guys are well and uh, it's just about summer break. I am dying to get back to school because it's almost the end of the school year and making me a little crazy that I'm missing everything there. But soon I'll be back. There we go. So that's there and then put our sentiment on with the Fabri-Tac also. really simple. Normally you know I do a cluster and such, but I think this is just perfect. Uh, very subtle and beautiful. So let's go ahead and see if we can flip this now safely. I think it's okay. I'll probably get in there and, and uh, ink that up when that's nice and dry. I don't like to see that white. And then here's a long one, so we need something a little bit longer to go down here. What do we think? I'm not sure that I really like that word now. Let's try something else. Beauty in everything. I like that better. Beauty in everything. I don't like that lace though. It's a little piece of gold lace will be really pretty. Yep. This is just gold fabric. I bought a garment at the Goodwill just for the purpose of um, of cutting it up. <laughs> so that's what I'm using here. There we go. A little bit of gold. It's pretty. And let's ink this one up. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by and for um, being here and engaging in all of that good stuff and um, I hope that everything is going well for you and that you're looking forward to the summer and have some fun plans. Uh, we have um, a trip coming up. We're going to go to Yellowstone. I've lived in the Northwest uh, Oregon and Washington my whole life and I've never been to any of our our landmarks like I haven't been to the Grand Canyon I haven't been to Yellowstone I haven't been to the Redwoods which is really pathetic um, so this year we are going to go with um, our kids uh, minus my son and his family um, to Yellowstone for um, a week in July so super excited about that so thank you guys again for stopping by take care bye bye <laughs>